Welcome to Hornbill TV, this is your anchor, Kikris on your solo, first the headlines. Chief Minister Nipirio said that a small state like Nagaland is not in a position to confront or reject the central government. However, the state can unanimously pass a resolution to exempt the state from the purview of UCC. Governor of Manipur, Anusuya Yuki, while speaking about the recovery of arms and munitions, the governor said it's up to the central government to make the required decisions. The India Meteorological Department has predicted possible active monsoon conditions over several parts of the country till 14th September. After Brazil took over the baton to host G20 summit next year, Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva said on Monday, Brazil will put the inequality as the core issue during the G20 summit under its presidency. Now for the news in details. Governor of Manipur, Anusia Yuki, on Monday said both the central and state government are very serious about the situation in Manipur. She said through the union ministry, she came to know that few meetings have already been taken place with different civil societies and situations in the state have substantially improved in recent times. She said on her personal level, she is making all efforts to convince the people to refrain from taking the law in their own hands. She also conveyed the message that different kinds of central forces in the state are in the state only to help in bringing normalcy in the state and the efforts of every stakeholders is required to bring peace and normalcy in the state. The governor also said at the end of the day everyone has to live together in the state. About the recovery of arms and ammunition, the governor said it's up to the central government to make the required decisions. Governor Anusuya Yuki was there at Shija Hospital and Research Institute attending a program named Legacy of Renewed Hope, which was held to honor the family members of Sarung Pam Kennedy Singh, who was the first deceased organ donor from the Northeast India. <laughs> और जो मुझे जानकारी मिली है सेंटर गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से होम मिनिस्ट्री की तरफ से भी इन तमाम संगठनों को इनको समझाने का और उनके जो भी प्रॉब्लम है उन सब चीजों के बारे में दो तीन मीटिंग्स हो चुकी है और मुझे लगता है कि काफी कुछ इस मामले में पहले से अब काफी कुछ आ, मतलब यहाँ पर एक माहौल ठीक हुआ है और मैं भी अपने तरफ से ये प्रयास कर रही हूँ कि इस तरह का जो भी कुछ हिंसा है इसको छोड़े और कानून को अपने हाथ में ना ले ताकि ये जितनी फोर्सेस है सेंटर की वो आपकी सुरक्षा और रक्षा के लिए यहाँ पर तैनात है और ऐसी परिस्थिति में मैं आपके माध्यम से सभी संगठन के लोगों से अपील करती हूँ कि प्लीज ये एक पीसफुल यहाँ माहौल बने और सब लोग एक शांति के साथ रहे ताकि हमारा मणिपुर जो पहले की तरह एक खूबसूरत है और उसका और विकास कैसे हो इस दिशा में सोचें और हम सब मिलकर आगे फिर जो कुछ भी है एजुकेशन से लेकर ऑल हमारी जो आज की तारीख में डिस्टर्ब हुआ है बिजनेस हुआ है तमाम सारी चीज़ें हैं आखिर हमें इस मणिपुर प्रदेश में ही सबको रहना है और इस दिशा में उन सब लोगों से अपील करती हूँ कि वो शांति रहे हिंसा छोड़े और ये तमाम चीज़ों की पूर्वत की स्थिति स्थिति जो थी वैसे ही स्थिति आ गई देखिए इस संबंध में तमाम सारी चीज़ें सेंटर गवर्नमेंट 
जो है उनको डिसाइड करना है सारे जितने भी लोग मेरे पास भी आते हैं ज्ञापन देते हैं उन सारी चीज़ों का उनका बात को मैं सेंटर गवर्नमेंट को भिजवा देती हूँ निर्णय उनको ही करना है आगे जो भी उनका है ये बैठ से बैठ कर ही इसका समाधान हो सकता है हाँ, ये, ये जो है आर्गन जो ट्रांस प्लांट जो कर रहे हैं इस ये अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ा महान काम है बड़ा पुण्य का काम है क्योंकि इस तरह के कार्यों से क्योंकि जो व्यक्ति का जीवन तो जीवन और मरण तो है हर व्यक्ति को जाना है लेकिन जाते जाते वो किसी और को एक नई जिंदगी दे देता है तो ये उसके लिए उस परिवार के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा काम होता है और वो भी ईश्वर भी उस उस जो व्यक्ति इस तरह का उसके अंगों का डोनेट करता है तो वो दूसरों की जिंदगी बना देता है और वो हमेशा के लिए एक जीवन में मतलब अमर की तरह हो जाता है और मैं चाहूँगी कि सारे लोग इस सारी चीज़ों के लिए आगे आए और वो इस तरह का अगर डॉक्टर्स और तमाम सारी चीज़ों का जो एक तकनीकी तौर पर ऐसा लगता है कि इसका समय अब अंतिम है तो फैमिली को भी इस बारे में आगे आकर और दूसरों के लिए जीवन बचाना चाहिए मैं सेजा हॉस्पिटल के तमाम वो डॉक्टरों को भी मैं बहुत बधाई देती हूँ कि एक बहुत सफलतम इस तरह का ट्रांसप्लांट किया है और सक्सेस भी हुआ है ये पहली बार ये उन्होंने स्टार्ट किया है मैं डॉक्टर पालिन जी को भी और उनकी पूरी टीम को बहुत बधाई देती हूँ इस पुण्य कार्य के लिए कि वो आगे इसी तरह का करते रहे और लोगों में एक मैसेज जाए कि इससे हम को किस तरह का हम मानवता का कार्य कर रहे हैं और लोगों को एक नई जिंदगी दे रहे हैं Moving on to the next news, where the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath, on Monday said that every new road being built in the state should have a guarantee of five years. Putting the responsibility of road maintenance on the construction agencies, he said if roads get damaged, the construction agency should reconstruct it. He also said officials and departmental ministers should visit the district and make random visits to the roads, while also stating that no mafia or their relatives should be allowed to work on contracts and leases. जो सड़क नौ निर्माण होगी पांच वर्ष की गारंटी उससे लीजिए हर हाल में पांच वर्ष की गारंटी लीजिए विभागीय अधिकारी और विभागीय मंत्री का ये भी दौरा करें जनपदों के दौरा करें जनपदों के दौरे के साथ साथ जवाबदेही भी वहां पर तय वहां पे न कर वहां पे आप एक बार निरीक्षण करें पूरी रिपोर्ट तैयार करें जिले की जब जाते हैं तो पूरे जिले की समीक्षा करें विजिट करें रैंडम विजिट करें अचानक आप जाइए किसी सड़क पर कार्य की क्वालिटी चेक कर लीजिए कोई भी अपराधी और माफिया किस्म का व्यक्ति ठेके के उसमें न पड़ने का उसको ठेके के उसमें कतई न जाने दे कोई भी ठेका उसके पास नहीं आना चाहिए Illegal transportation of Burmese Erika Nats continues at Assam Nagaland border. Sungajan police arrested two individuals on Sunday carrying illegal Burmese Erika Nats inside a Bolero pickup at Dhasiri subdivision in Assam's Golagat district. According to sources, the Erika Nats were concealed among fishes in the vehicle. The accused revealed that the items were loaded at a village in Nagaland and was being transported to Golagat district bypass. The arrested persons have been identified as Saidul Islam and Saiful Islam. नमोर डिसे ना तो नो बेपारी गुलागा डूलट ले जाओ ली बाइपास हो ताते बेलेक मानो दिन बोली बाबे कौन सा कपांच अपना बुकाजन पार करी तात सेमा बस्ती ऐटा जे ये तो बस्ती पड़ा की नाम की नाम तो है मोन नाम मोन नाम सही दूल घर घर सामागुरी रूप सामागुरी नागा सामागुरी सही दूल के लिए आलम तानम गाड़ी तो सुबह ही आती है। कौन पानी है? ये जो नागाबुती बुलिप कोई जाता है, तब पानी से। कौन नहीं बोले? तो ये गुलागढ़ बाईपास 
পুরা নাই পাবো লাগে কইছে আচ্ছা আবি দিবি কি নাম মোর নাম সাগরতিস নাম The autumn session of the Assam Legislative Assembly began from Monday, 11th September, during which more than 20 bills were introduced by the government. The five-day session will end on Friday, 15 September. The session was held in the new building of the Assembly, which was inaugurated by Lok Sabha Speaker Om Biula in July. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sama unveiled a statue of Mahatma Gandhi in the new Assembly complex on Monday. The inaugural day of the autumn session of the Legislative Assembly. Meanwhile, Assam opposition MLA Akhil Gogoi protested outside the Legislative Assembly on Monday against the state's power crisis on the first day of the autumn session. The Siva Sagar MLA sat outside the new Assembly building in Dispur, clutching a lamp and a handmade fan produced by the Assamese community in protest against the lot shedding issue amid a severe heat condition. Uh, see, we are facing a very critical power crisis in Assam. We have our own production, uh, it's uh, 281 megawatt of our own in peak season, peak hour. And we consume in peak season, in peak time, uh, we consume uh, 2540 megawatt. We have no production here. Last, in seven years, in BJP tenure, uh, no uh, power is produced in Asham. First time elect elected okay, yeah, yes, but Anega third day I got a letter milata from Power Minister Bimol Boraji. That you have some land to give to your city, we will do a solar power ka ek project. My advice is that this letter was given to 126 people in the hands of the eminent minister. After that, there was no land to give to the people, there was no land to give to the people. We gave a letter, it's a land, 10, 12, 13, 13, whatever you need to give. गवर्नमेंट हमेशा एक लेटर दे देता है एक एश्योरेंस दे देता है आज हमारा रिक्वायरमेंट का हिसाब से कितना पावर कम है वो भी क्लियरिटी नहीं है गवर्नमेंट का पास प्रोडक्शन के लिए अगर प्रोडक्शन करो ओके नहीं करो कोई इशू नहीं है फिर परचेज करो यार परचेज करने में तो क्या दिक्कत है गवर्नमेंट में पब्लिक के लिए सोचते ही नहीं इतना बिल बढ़ा दिया बिल बढ़ाने से पहले या आज नेक्स्ट टू मंथ्स हमारा कितना रिक्वायरमेंट है नेक्स्ट थ्री मंथ्स कितना रिक्वायरमेंट है नेक्स्ट वन ईयर कितना रही इसके हिसाब से हमारा एग्जिस्टिंग कैपेसिटी कितना है पावर का पलटना से कितना आ रहा है हमारा प्रोडक्शन कितना है अदर सोर्स से कितना हो रहा है कुछ भी क्लियरिटी नहीं है गवर्नमेंट टोटल करप्शन में डूबा हुआ है पब्लिक का साथ कुछ भी नहीं है वो बीजेपी आर का एजेंडे पर चल रहा है पब्लिक का कोई इशू नहीं है गवर्नमेंट कोई कंसर्न ही नहीं ये तो एक बड़ा अच्छा मैसेज है पूरा आसाम में पॉलिटिकल कंशास या पॉलिटिकल एनालिसिस सब बोल रहा है कि एक चीज़ तो ऑफिशियली बीजेपी डिक्लेयर कर दिया कि हमारा पोजीशन अच्छा नहीं है क्योंकि हम सिंबल से लड़ने से डरता है गवर्नमेंट डर गया है बीजेपी डर रहा है बीजेपी का पोजीशन अच्छा नहीं है गवर्नमेंट का फेलियर का रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहा है पब्लिक में ये अंदाजा गवर्नमेंट को है इसलिए सिम्बल से लड़ने के लिए डर रहा है गवर्नमेंट देखिए संशोधन अगर बिल ले करेंगे तब देखेंगे क्या है अमेंडमेंट तो डालेंगे ही हम लोग वो तो पक्का लेकिन मेरा हिसाब से मेरा पार्टी का हिसाब से मेरा हिसाब से यही है कि गवर्नमेंट अभी रूरल में इसका कोई बेस नहीं है ये पूरा ऑफिशियली डिक्लेयर कर टाइम फॉर शॉर्ट ब्रेक वील बी बैक विद मॉर न्यूज Dangor breaking news I know so those who make decisions that count are those who lead we shall all work together for the development of the people do you see in the state for the protection of cultures the world is moving fast and you're always rushing to catch up let Hornbill TV catch up for you we are all about news that matters more in Welcome back. Moving on to the next news. 
Following MLA, Kuzolozo Nienus moved to reject a uniform civil code during the second session of the 14th NLA. Chief Minister Nipirio, in his reply, said that a small state like Nagaland is not in position to confront or reject the central government. However, the state can unanimously pass a resolution to examine the state from the purview of UCC. Stating that keeping in view the consultations with various stakeholders and after examining the apparent spirit of intent of the Uniform Civil Code and taking into account the constitutional guarantees given to the state and its people under Article 371A, the Chief Minister proposed to adopt and pass a resolution for exemption from the proposed enactment of Uniform Civil Code in its application to the state of Nagaland. Hornbill TV, it is the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly Lava second session attend Kuila Hinesi. Aru it is discussion UCC Uniform Civil Court Lava Upor Jai Thakya Homo Yare unanimously cabinet members can sobbi itu implementation do Tahan Nahobo in a kwa labi ekta dihi paishe. Aru last day itu Nagaland Lava Chief Minister Nipi Ruobi Taila views share kuishi. Aru Tai Pra Jana idea do itu Uniform Civil Court Lava. Kotha hunya humoi. Taikan September one day naga hohos tribal leaders aro CSOs kan ye log paishe. Aro log pa humoi tahan sobi unanimously itu UCC do tahan na hobo koi gane unanimously agree kura labi dikhi paishe kuche. Aro September eight day cabinet members kan log paishe. Aro log pa gane tahan itu bichire Union Home Minister Amit Shah ye log paishe. Union Home Minister Amit Shah ke log pa homo itai pra jana hi dishe koishe idu Nagale neklai no hoye holi bhi North Eastern states kan sobi UCC laga implementation pra exempt kuribo koi gine tai la kotha jana hi dishe koishe aru itu pra Nagale laga Chief Minister ni purio pra koishe tai pra koishe biswa sase koishe Central leaders kan naga manu ke betray na kuribo koi gine aru tai pra itu itu upor ekta bishi important kotha jana hi dia do. आर्टिकल 371 ए दो नागा मनुहान करने एक ता डॉक्यूमेंट असे कुंडु नागलेन के इंडिया लगा पार्टे पार्ट एक ता होएगी ने रखी है से और ये तो यूसीसी इंप्लीमेंट कुरी दिले दो ये तो आर्टिकल 371 ए दो काम ना कुरी जा लगा साइन असे होली भी ताई प्राप्त हो ये तो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट भी नागा मनु के बीच नागलेंड तो एक ता छोटू स्टेट असे और उस सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट लोडे कंपेयर कोई लेतो मोहन एक ता पोजीशन दे नहीं बोशे को दे मोई कन यूसीसी के रिजेक्ट करीबो ना सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के कंफ्रंट करीबो ले ला पोजीशन दे नहीं फली भी यारे कैबिनेट मेंबर्स कन की करीबो पारुवो को ले ताहन रेजोल्यूशन पास करीबो कुरी बोले पारी वो कोई गिने ताई पर इतु कोथा जाना ही दिशे ताई ला इतु कंक्लूडिंग स्टेटमेंट दो इतु ऐसे यूसीसी लगा ऊपर इतिहास करने मन हो मैं रिपोर्टर के फिर से न्यू के हो वी कैमरा पर्सन पंगलोई फोन दिल टीवी The India Meteorological Department has predicted possible active monsoon conditions over several parts of the country till 14 September. The IMD has predicted isolated heavy rains over Assam and Meghalaya during 10 to 12 September. Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura during 10 to 14 September and over Arunachal Pradesh on 10 and 11 September. India Meteorological Department also predicted very heavy rain, heavy rainfall activity in eastern Uttar Pradesh today. It said heavy rainfall is expected today in western Uttar Pradesh, Uttar Khand, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Kerala, Mahe Coastal, Andhra Pradesh, Rayalasima, Eastern Madhya Pradesh. PM Modi held a bilateral meeting with Saudi Arabia Prime Minister Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud on September 11. The meeting was held at Hyderabad House. Both leaders discussed key issues of mutual interest. Earlier in the day, Saudi Crown Prince MB, MBS received a ceremonial reception at Rashtrapati Bhavan. EAMS J. Shankar and NSA Ajit Doval were also present at the meeting. During the meet, 
The Saudi prince said there was no disagreement during the history of India-Saudi relationship, but there is cooperation to build future opportunities. The Aam Admi Party Nagaland has questioned the facilities of only Nagaland's forensic science lab in Dimapu, which is being headed by a joint director level officer. In a press statement issued by the party's press secretary, Kevito Kera, quoting the information given in the Nagaland's police website, the lab is well equipped in dealing with cases pertaining to fingerprints, narcotics, polygraph tests, etc. The party asked a competent and qualified manpower handling the equipment and overseen by competent and qualified officers. Also, while questioning the recruitment process of the personnel manning the various posts in the forensic department, the AAP maintained that the personnel of such a department needs to be recruited through NPSC and expressed belief that the government is doing so. AAP believe that in criminal cases where the expertise of the forensic department is required, it is handling it well and it is no longer sent to Guwahati or Kolkata, which cost time and also drain out unnecessary money from the public. It's the AAP Nagaland said it wishes to put up the matter to the competent authority since these are pertinent issues in the interest of the public at large. The public further demanded the authority to enlighten the citizens the credibility of the lab and delivery of results system at the earliest possible time. After India's completion of G20 presidency, Brazil will take over the baton and host G20 summit next year. Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva said on Monday, Brazil will put the inequality as the core issue during the G20 summit under its presidency. Lula da Silva said that another issue that Brazil will discuss under its G20 presidency will be energy transition. He stressed that Brazil has extraordinary potential in production of clean energy and added that 90% of his country's electrical power is fully clean. He said that Brazil has a lot to teach to other countries on biofuels and clean energy. Lula da Silva said it was a huge challenge for Brazil to take over the G20 presidency and pointed out that an important meeting like G20 showed the importance of the multipolar world. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on September 10 handed over the ceremonial gravel to Lula, initiating the process of transition of the President's chair for the next round of the G20 to be held in Brazil. A lot of responsibility for Brazil to host uh, the G20 summit meeting next year. Everybody knows that we'll chair the G20 and we will put the inequality issue as the core issue for the next process for our discussion. It's necessary for once and for all that we should take into account and that develop a certain indignity uh, uh, on the rulers, the leaders about uh, the inequalities of gender, race, education, inequality of education and, and food. The world is highly, there's a lot of inequality in the world. We have few with a lot and many with much, with very few resources. And so we have to build an understanding that the world needs more balance in terms of the wealth distribution that is being produced so that we do not have to sleep every day to knowing that there's 730 million people that are in hunger. And so this is a very extremely important. There's a lot of sensitivity. Another issue that we're going to put on the order of the day is the energy transition that we'll discuss next year in the G20 process. Brazil has an extraordinary potential in the production of clean energy. Today we have uh, of our electrical power, almost 90% is fully clean and in the set, uh, in the whole of the, uh, the energy position we have 70% compared to 15% of the uh, of the rest of the world in terms of clean energy. So on biofuels and clean energy, Brazil has a lot to teach to the other countries and that's why we want to share what we are capable to produce 
so that they can produce in their own respective countries as so that as also we can make uh, joint ventures and associations that our companies uh, could ally or joint ventures with their companies so that we can de depollute the planet with clean e energy sources. This, so we have uh, differential in that and a lot of technology. And another point that is very important that we're going to discuss is the reform of the multilateral institutions. So, the World Bank, it's necessary to change in the World Bank. It's necessary that the developed countries could also assume leadership in the bank. Since the very first meeting, we tried to propose changes. There are very slight changes that happen in these institutions, and we want to discuss the issue of the membership, the permanent member of the UN Security Council, which is important for us to change the geo. A geography, the geography of 1945 and put on a new map of 2024, 20, which is the year that we're going to have the discussion of the G20 in Brazil. That's a lot of a responsibility to organize, to be the host country for such an event. You saw here the structure that was necessary to set up to receive the amount of people that come to the G20. But in Brazil, I'm sure that we will do well, that we'll have a very beautiful G20 summit meeting so that people... That is all we have for the Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV. Tá, dá um breaking news aí na. Tá, dá um breaking news aí na.